On the gate for tonight's 13th and final. Here they come. They're off and pacing. First away from down the center. Leaves out Finnegan. Hanover exploding on the outside. Return fire. Return fire. Jets to the front for Jody Jamison. Up on the extreme outside. La Passion Reno's coming on. There in third is Finnegan. Hanover dropped in fourth. Why not? At the rail fifth is always a threat. Knifing into a seat there from in sixth is the Preacher Pan. Backed up in seventh is Armbro Broadway. Last markers in the field. Corey's lucky guy followed on the inside by bidding for time. And the trailer as they go to the quarter pole. Think it of. The opening post in 26 and 3. Return fire leads the field by three lengths. Long shot La Passion Reno second. Finnegan Hanover third. In at the rail fourth and being asked to step first over and accelerate is why not? Back in fifth is always a threat. Racing along from in sixth as they go across the back stretch, the preacher pan. Then it's Armbro Broadway, Corey's lucky guy in the backfield, bidding for time and trailer think it of. And the brush to the front successful for Campbell and why not who hang up a 54 and 4 half. Back in second return. Fire in at the rail third. La Passion Reno always a threat from first over. Marching up quickly on the outside for Pierce. And Pierce depresses the accelerator and always a threat is on the outside second. Certainly a first over threat for Campbell and why not? Why not leads it by a length. Outside second always a threat. In at the rail third. Return fire gapping out a little bit. Outside fourth now with cover. The preacher pan buried at the rail in fifth but lacking pace is La Passion Reno three quarter time. 123. Campbell and Pierce square off for the stretch. Why not on the inside? Bracing for always a threat who turns up the heat on the outside. Now energized on the outside. Third charges up. Return fire and he's got more to offer for Jamison. Return fire on the outside. Always a threat trying to hang tough. Return fire on the outside coming to him. It's always a threat on the inside. Return fire. Last jump might have got there. Return fire outside. On the inside always a threat. A photo finish in 150 and 4. Here's the winner of tonight's 13th race, the 8 return fire, return fire 7-year-old son of run the table from the Kentucky Spur Mare Perfect Catch. Daryl and Marie Gombert of New Jersey along with Jeffrey and Suzanne Rose of New York share ownership. Tony Montini sending out his 58th winner this year. Jody Jamison completes the Saturday evening hat trick, his 165th win of the season. 9170. Exactor $130.40. The tractor $899. Payout price on the Superfecta $3,509.